my name is Tori, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of the basic Blackboard course shell. When you are added as the instructor to a newly created Blackboard course or request a DEV shell from the Instructional Design and Technology Office, you will receive a blank Blackboard course shell. The shell will look something like this. On the left-hand side of the page, you will see the navigation menu. Blackboard course shells have nine menu areas automatically. Announcements, Homepage, Information, Content, Discussions, Groups, Tools, Help, and One Stop. Let's walk through each of these quickly to get acquainted with them. In the Announcements area of Blackboard, your students will see announcements created by you, the instructor. You can also send announcements as an email to your students here. To create an announcement, select Create Announcement at the top of the page. In the home page area, your students will again be able to see your course announcements, as well as new content in the course, tasks, alerts, a to-do list, and items that need attention. Each of these areas is called a module. If you'd like to add or delete modules from the home page, select Add Course Module. You can also move modules by clicking and dragging, like this. In the information and content areas of your course, you can create content for your students to view. To build general content, select Build Content at the top of the page. You can also create exam areas and assignment submission areas. To create quizzes, tests, exams, or assignment submission areas, select Assessments at the top of your page. In the Discussions area of your course, you can create discussion boards for you and your students. Discussion boards provide great opportunities for students to communicate with one another and with you. To create a discussion board, select Create Forum at the top of the page. In the Groups area of your course, you can create small group areas for your students to communicate with one another and share information. Here, students can collaborate through journals, wikis, discussion boards, and email. If you'd like to create a small group of students in your Blackboard course, select Create at the top of the page. Under the Tools area of your course, you will see a list of tools currently available to you and your students in your Blackboard course. It is very likely that you will not need students to use all of the tools available to them. To hide tools from students, select Hide link next to any unnecessary tools. The Help and One Stop Support links in your left-hand navigation bar will take you outside of the Blackboard LMS. These link directly to helpful websites for WSU students. At the bottom of the left-hand navigation bar, you will see the control panel. This area is unavailable to students. Here, you can control the look and feel of your course, access student grades, import and export content, and more. If you'd like to learn more about the control panel, watch our video, Using the Control Panel.